everybody. Welcome to the Texas Hotspot and welcome to Friday Night Fire. Your boy Zach here coming at you live from the Texas Hotspot's kitchen. We are getting down and dirty today and we're going to quickly run through me making a sauce. Uh, if you go back a couple videos, we went live for National Hot Sauce Day and we went over the proper ways to set up making a hot sauce. Uh, the sanitation rules still apply for everything I mentioned in that video. Apply for this one today. All my sanitation is up. I've disinfected all areas. I've sanitized all of my utensils that I'll be using tonight. So we're not going to go over any of that. We're going to get it just into this sauce. But before we get into making this sauce, we want to say what's up to Ryan. How you doing, Ryan? Good to see you. And we want to bring in our co-hosts. Our first one's been here since day one. We love him. We, we know him. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Zach? You didn't say it, dude. What? A1 since day one? There you go. Yeah. That's how you do. Yeah. Yeah. A1 since day one. A1 since day one, bud. How's it going, man? You excited? Because, uh, you know, we're using a whole vial of your black garlic in this today. So you got to be kind of excited about that. Oh. So let's go ahead and bring yeah, in I our am. next uh, guest. He's going to be here. He's a certified the cordon blue from Paris, Texas himself. Let's bring in Pepper Bay. He can he can give me a little helping hand as I get the sauce rolling. What's, What's going on, guys? I'm Chris Fisher. How's everybody doing? Doing yeah. good, bud. Doing good. So I got a big old bowl of super hots also I'm going to be using in this sauce. There's some seven pot primos oh, yeah. in here. There's some mustard yeah. ghosts. Uh, I got some, man, just, it's honestly, it's an assortment of super hots that I'm putting in my sauce. But they're 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 super hot peppers, so it's gonna be hot. Uh, before we get into anything, the first step that that I that I need to do, and it takes about fifteen minutes, is I need to uh, I, I need to soak these raisins with boiling hot water. So I've been boiling hot water. We're gonna go ahead and pour them right on them raisins, and we're gonna soak these raisins <coughs> in this boiling hot water for about fifteen minutes while we talk. Oh yeah, that should get those uh, raisins nice and. Well, all right so yeah we're gonna start with that now we're gonna get back into uh what we're making today and what we're making today is really it's a, it's a collaboration between your boy here at the texas hot spot and my boy over there at pepper fuel dreams and we came up with this idea months and months and months ago and I a long decided, time ago i decided to get back into the uh sauce making game and why not the first sauce I make be a nice collaboration called Goostershire sauce? It's a homemade Worcestershire sauce. So um, I, I'm hoping it, it's going to taste good. I'm pretty sure it's going to taste good. We'll see how it tastes. I've never made. And you know what? Make a sauce. Anything can go wrong. It could taste like shit at the end of this. You know what I mean? Like, oh, oh yeah. Because, uh, <laughs> so, so guys at home, Zach's not just a. Uh, He's not just buying some Worcestershire sauce and putting some spicy stuff What's in What's up, Midge? Building this sauce from the ground up. So, yep. Starting from the bottom, now we're here. And hey, as we we'll go see. through all these flavors, you guys, you guys are going to be like, you're like, holy shit, he's putting another flavor in on this Worcestershire. So, I see we got uh, late for work in the house. What's up, late for work? Soak these raisins. What's up, buddy? Good these raisins. What's up, Midge? How you doing? We're making some uh, homemade Worcestershire today. If anybody wants to try it at home, I I, I haven't done it. We're going to see how it works out. We're going to start building it up flavor by flavor by flavor by flavor. No, you're making homemade Goostershire. Goostershire sauce. Goostershire So, uh, well, I get... Well, I move things around and get prepared to take a sip of beer. You guys can start talking about whatever you want. What are you drinking tonight, Brandon? Same thing I drink every night, Pinky. Uh, <laughs> so I'm doing this Dallas Blonde. Of course, you know that's a good one. That, that was a good one. He said, if it's disgusting, send it all over here. I'll chug them. Deal. If it's disgusting, I'll send them all to you and you chug them all. Hey, I, I need to switch to my computer, so uh, well, you better go do it. Well, look, I'm going to right now. Ain't none to it, but to do it. But to do it. 
I love that fucking jam, dude. The Ain't none to it. Let's do it. He goes. That's <laughs> like the guy, yeah, just the guy doing the dances. Ain't none to it. Let's do it. I'm about to go off. Oh. <laughs> Let's go off, y'all. All right. Here we go. You guys ready for this? Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to go downward angle to the pot so you can see what's going in my pot at all times. First thing I'm going to do, again, I've already done this, but I'm going to do it again just in case. I've been touching my phone. I've been drinking the beer. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. You know what I'm saying? You always want to make sure you keep your hands nice and washed and clean. Right, right. Right, right. We're so, in the, we're in the works of, of a new uh, song, a new music video, the uh, Chug That Baby. Uh, all right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some oil hot over the stove. A little bit, little bit of oil. Not a lot. You just want enough to... Uh, to sweat these onions, this garlic, and this ginger. That's the yeah, first buddy. Thing. That's the first oh, yeah. thing we're gonna add is onions, garlic, and ginger all together now. And I've already cut a bunch up. Hell yeah, so, put it in there. Well, no, 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 not yet. We're gonna wait till this is a little hot. Oh. So why would you want to wait till it gets hot? So it don't stick to the bottom of the pan? Well, no, because I just don't I don't want oil covered onions. I want sauteed onions. <laughs> he's, he's, he's gonna bring it to a point what's called smoking which is if if you if you heat up oil right before it's ready to put stuff in there should be a slight wisp of the smoke off of it and that's when you know to put your, your stuff in there and start shabamming ain't none to it but to do it, but to do it. <laughs> all right we're getting a little warmer we're getting a little warmer right now i got like a medium high heat and i don't want to go too high like i said i just kind of want to sweat these onions this this garlic and this ginger and that's so, exactly what's in here i got about four large onions um i got about seven or eight cloves of, of garlic and i i got about uh i don't know three or four one inch cubes of ginger and then you said you're putting raisins in there too, so that's the so you got four ingredients so far. So far, that's four. The raisins are just soaking right now. We haven't put them in yet. Right. All right. So we're, the oil's looking nice and hot. I kind of want a nice sizzle when I add this in here. That's what I should get. You can hear that. Oh yeah. Can we? Can we? Don't assume, Zach. But we can. You're right. <laughs> so we want that. Next thing we go. I get me a wooden Soaking spoon. These raisins, yeah, buddy. A wooden spoon. I kind of want to coat everything in the soil. You know, uh, I thought you said you didn't want oil-covered onions. No, like you know what I meant. <laughs> you know what I meant, bro. You're blowing smoke up my ass already. This month, <laughs> you know what I meant, dude. I want the oil to cook my onions, not let it bathe in it. All right, all right. Oh, that smells good already. I love the smell. Just <laughs> off, but like, oh, yeah, the, the garlic and ginger with that. Oh, the ginger, the onions, the garlic. So, uh, right now I'm gonna hold off from putting any seasonings on because there's a bunch of seasonings that I'm gonna put in in a little bit all at once, including the salt and the pepper. You guys are gonna be like, "Wow!" So I'm looking to get this not too. Sweated. No, you want to get because I'm gonna be I'm gonna brown. be uh, immersion blending all this in oh. like, and I kind of want it to be a little. I kind of want it to be a little pasty, like almost like a paste when I add these anchovies and this. Oh, you want it to be almost like like dry? Yeah, like almost like a dry paste. Get some color on them onions. Get some color on them onions, dog. So I'm kind of just initially cooking this. Now I'm going to start adding stuff to this, man. The first thing I'm going to add to this is going to be unsulfured molasses. Ooh. Unsulfured Full. molasses. Full Give flavor. Me. Full flavor. Boom. And it's, woo. Smell that? Just like grandma used to make. Ooh, it made the back of my mouth clean. So we're going to add, we're going to turn it down a little bit. Does it have vinegar in it or something? Uh, you know what? Molasses comes from what? trees, I'm what? sure, yeah. right? That, it's like vinegar. Uh, molasses is a byproduct of sugar cane production. 
It's a what, Brandon? He's got it. Uh, molasses is a byproduct of sugar, uh, refined sugar. That is, that is a piece of knowledge right there. Oh, wow. It smells like vinegar, though. It does have a vinegary smell. It smells real vinegary. I'm going to stick this in here and I gleeked when I hopefully get it. all of this out of here. <laughs> it like overpowered your taste buds to that degree automatically. It's like, oh my God. Yep, exactly. That's what that did. And it's very sticky. Yeah. Me and Zach make uh, sauce kind of the same way. I'll be like, one whole jar of this, one whole jar of that. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, dude, whole jar, which is uh, 16 ounces. You're no. more of a landmark guy than you are a directional guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I added, the, uh, I added the molasses. We'll go ahead and give that a nice stir. With the onions. Now, look, if you, you're going to have to go somewhere, uh, Mexican store, uh, Indian store, to get this next ingredient. It's tamarind paste. What's up, Ethan? What's up, Ethan Rivera? What's up, my boy? Oops. Oh, uh, uh, my bad, Midge. Uh, I was cooking. What's up, dude? <laughs> dude <man. laughs> All right. So anyway, the next ingredient is tamarind paste. You guys don't know oh, what Eric. You can find it online. I had to order mine. I had to order mine from eBay. Why well, you always gotta so. be a dick, Eric? That's funny though. You know it's fucking funny. <laughs> So this is a 16-ounce thing of tamarind paste. We're going to use probably about 12 ounces of it. Love you, B. I love you. I told you today, you know, I give you shit. Man. I love you. It's it's just fun. It's fun, guys. I get picked on for being fat, so I got to pick on what? people to feel better oh, about it. For doing funny it. stuff with whipped cream at night. Eric. Just the <laughs> there you go. You that shit was busted. Just wait till right. we get to San Diego, Eric. I smell it. All right. Tampa. Yeah, just, just you wait, Eric. Wait, 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 I'm going to fuck you in the ass. You ever had your shit? I'm adding the tamarind paste now. I'm going to whip a sweet nothings into your ear when I fuck you in the ass. What, what, is, what does that taste like, Zach? So we're up to five, six ingredients. We're, are we including the oil? Oh, it's very, we're up to uh, it's seven actually kind of sour. So we just put the tamarind paste in. All right, now look. That's a whole jar. Anchovies. Oh, yeah. So tamarind is like a seed or like a... Anchovies, dude. Here we go. So, number eight is a legit ingredient of uh, high quality Worcestershire sauce. Anchovies. Here they go, guys. Boys, hey, I'm gonna. I'm gonna you got, you got, you got the extra hairy ones, ones, right? I don't really want an oily sauce, so I'm gonna actually remove them from the oil as best as I can. I'm yeah. never. I'm never eating W sauce again. Yeah. Right. Ew. You never. Hey, don't you like? Don't you like Caesar? No, or uh, I like what's the uh, what's the Latin sauce? Uh, uh, anchovies are good when they're like in no, something. Really you know what I mean? Because you can't really tell. There's they a kind of berry that like salty umami bomby. Baby bones. It's delicious. It's like fish sauce. Oh, God, like yeah. It. yeah, a lot like fish <laughs> sauce. <laughs> I would never eat an anchovy plant, but I'll definitely put it in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, you, ever, you ever seen the movie The Burbs? Anchovies. Oh, my God. Dude, right? And they're just like. On the fucking pretzel. <laughs> it's like, oh, bro. I can't do that. Absolutely not. That's like a big, that's a big sardine, too. That, uh, that might be a sardine. Oh, yeah, that's that's a big, uh, it was sardines, yeah. Not anchovies. <laughs> but I don't think so. <laughs> Fucking Tom Hanks' face is great. He's uh, got like little bones in it and still. You're like crunching on it. Is he crunching on the pretzel or the bones? Uh, yummy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get little salty fishers in there, dude. Chris Fishers. Right. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be putting it in there. Jeez. <laughs> Four cans. Four cans. All right. All right. That's disgusting. You making Worcestershire sauce or you making sushi? You making Worcestershire. He's making a Worcestershire. Making Gooch Worcestershire, bro. What is that? Italian? Do <laughs> 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 I have to touch it? Sushi. <laughs> you want to give it to him? I know. Italian. <laughs> <work right there. laughs> Italian pear. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hot one. All right. Bro, anytime anyone says sushi in reference to hot shit, I always think of that shit with Bob, dude. That was so funny. So I got the anchovies. I got the anchovies in now. Finally, add two mm. cups of white vinegar. So that's number ingredient number nine. Two cups of white vinegar. Oh, some gushy. Yeah, I can go over some of that too. <laughs> now. I'll eat that roll. <laughs> Here we go. I got a bowl full of super hots. We gonna just ten? We're just no way, seven. Zachary. No, huh? keep going. Just keep going. The whole bowl, right? Uh, ten yeah, ingredients. Well, um, I have to destem them, so I'm gonna destem them. Well, yeah. But yeah, the, we're gonna do a bunch of peppers. I'm just really just throwing them in. These are right now. These are seven pot primos. Whole you peppers. I'm doing whole whole peppers because I'm gonna be. Um, emulsion blending this. Hey, did you uh, did you grow those? I did. I grew every one of these peppers. Wow, wow, amazing! Wow, wow. Yeah. He threw the stem in and not the pepper. We seen that. We seen that. <laughs> no, did I? No, I did not. Yes, you did. Yeah, you did. You I threw it in there. It doesn't matter. The sauce is getting uh. Filtered. It's getting <laughs> blended. Hey, just a little extra fiber ain't gonna hurt no one. Hey, All right, guys. Uh, What's his name? A Carolina Reaper. He eats the damn stem. Bro, bowl. you don't need to eat the stem. Those guys are <laughs> Cherry <eating the> oil. <laughs> I think Nelson Cheney did a video on that saying like, hey, these guys that are eating the stems, you don't eat the stems. You there's no reason. The on there's apple. no, like, there's no you don't eat the stems. Capsaicin. A jalapeno. What's oh, Nelson Cheney's uh, yeah, thing? What's yeah. his thing? Dipped in some mama lizards. Mid, mid, you know, don't you? Know. <laughs> What's Nelson Cheney's thing called? Chase or Craven Capsaicin. Craven Capsaicin. Craven Capsaicin. Craven Capsaicin. 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 Dude, I, I, I noticed uh, more of the European people, they say Capsaicin. Because they're European. Is it? Is Are it they're European? European? European. Justin Savage. Who's that guy? I don't even know. I don't know, guy. man. Justin Savage. Justin, what's what? up, dude? Justin Savage is turning into Jay Savage. Like he's just fucking non-existent anymore. I mean, I got a Jay bunch Savage. Of <laughs> what does that mean? Just you know the guy, the, the Verde Wars guy, Jay Savage. Like nobody knows what this dude looks like and shit. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going a bunch. He's got a cat on his profile picture, right? There's easily yeah. like twenty super yeah. hots in this. I'm going twenty one super hots, twenty two super hots. All right, now you sound like super uh, hots. Twenty four super hots. Fucking Scoville unit over here, just going after the super hots super one hots. after another. Breaking the record, super huh? Super hots. 27 super hots. He just threw another stem in. No, he didn't. Bitch. <laughs> 28 super hots. 29 super hots. I'm going to stop with 30. 30 super hots in this batch. My so, God. It's Jason Bourne. <laughs> that shit's going to be hotter than fucking Jared's soy sauce. All right. So now. I'm going to be great. Sixty-nine I'm gonna, I'm, gonna I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blend all this up real quick, all into like a. a so we're ten thing. ingredients. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get, pepper to get up in there and get all wobbly. See, th this would be the perfect time for the camera to pan up, and he has shit all over his face, like the busting video. <laughs> busting. <laughs> I swear, I'm dude for real. When I have some extra cash, I have to one up that video. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, it's gonna go down, bro. Hey, Anna still owes us a, a nacho cheese one, remember? A nacho cheese one? Jared, Jared keeps telling her she's gotta do a nacho cheese one. <laughs> Zach, Zach, you gotta, you gotta like. Get the hey, you really got you gotta like get in there. That, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That, one just, that one's like a turd in the toilet. It's like a little bottle. Oh, wow. 
a turd. Little yeah. duty. It probably still has the stem on it, so it's staying afloat. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the pulpiness of the stem keeps it afloat. Yeah. I bet you it smells pretty hurt. good in there. That's some buoyancy. Oh, yeah, that's looking... Uh, yeah, mute yourself. It could be worst. Sure, Shire. Yeah. It uh, could be worst. Uh, sure. That's actually a pretty good name for worst. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty damn solid. <laughs> could be worst. Sure. Well, I'll tell pretty. you right now, Randy Carlo already made a worst. Sure sauce. And I'll tell you, it was good on the sushi. Worcestershire on sushi? Who's doing that? Only one person would do that. Who's that? Bob. Does his, does his name rhyme with... With... <laughs> with slob. slob. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Snob. <Snob. laughs> I'm going to keep the ball rolling. We blended it up. I got... Okay. I'm going to go all the spices now. I got a full vial here of uh, Brandon... Collins's or Pepper Field Dreams uh, black garlic. And that's going right in. Oh, my damn. So that's number a, it goes to 11? Yeah. The black whole garlic. Vial, the whole Bro. vial of black garlic is going in, by the way. Can you get that off? That's not the jar I sent that to you in. No, because I, I made pile out of it. All right, all right. So there's that. That stuff's potent, bro. Be some careful. Black garlic. That. Some black garlic. Oh, you just garlic used the whole there. jar. Shit. <laughs> I, got to put, I got to put salt in there. Shit. And, uh, I got some ghost pepper salt here. All right. So you saying going, garlic going. again, motherfucker? Ghost pepper salt in in my uh, Gookstershire. I don't want too much salt. Just enough. Eh, maybe like you know, one, two, or three, or four, or five more. I'm a, I like salt. I'm well, a salty, a salty. I don't know, man. That's gonna be saltier than my teriyaki, there, bud. All right, so look. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cardamom. Car cardamom. Now is my next uh, next spice going in. Cardamom, and I want to I want to give a good little uh, two 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 to three teaspoons, maybe a little pop pop, like the Danos or whatever. Yeah, it's a pretty big. I, it's a pretty big batch, so I'm gonna. I want to get spice. this. Uh, I'm not going to get the flavor across. Ruth, if you yeah, don't know what cardamom is, you should go out, get some, and try it out. Shit is delicious. Cardamom right, is good. Your laundry. There's some cardamom. Uh, of course the the classic, <laughs> the classic crushed red pepper. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd put a. Put a good heaper in there. I love a good... Put the whole bottle in. Yeah, I love a good whole bottle measurement. Some crushed red pepper. We'll probably put about half a bottle in that. Oh, that's a good measurement, too. <laughs> good half a bottle in that. Uh, Woo! This is going to be flavorful. So we're at... Okay, what are we at? You lost Five track. Minutes. 16, 17... No. James Jackson is that um, the Indian man? James Jackson. 13, Fourteen. We're at fourteen right now. Or is that a different James Jackson? I can't tell by the profile picture. We need a couple whole cloves. Fifteen. We're gonna ignore you. <laughs> Forty-eight ingredients so far. <laughs> uh, late for work. You are on one today. He's on it, dude. <laughs> It's 14. <laughs> no, it's me, James. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, some whole cloves. I'm going to put a good amount. Oh, careful. Yeah, that's yeah. So potent right there. No, no, no. Hey, because I still have to add two more cups of vinegar to this. I forget. You're uh, you're classically trained in Paris. And some cinnamon. Some Lowry's. <laughs> 16. <laughs> Some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I like. Hey, hey that might not be a bad idea for some flowers. Some, uh, some, some brown sugar. Brown sugar. Sixty. Did you know, Peter? Uh, did you know uh, the Simon and Garfunkel song was originally parsley, sage, rosemary, and Lowry seasoning song. So. <laughs> It didn't hit as much with the audience, so it changed. It. Hey man, Lowry seasoning salt on some fries and some tater tots and shit. 
I oh, love tater barrel. Teaspoon, tablespoon, half a cup. We say tater barrels. It's a, it's yeah, tater barrels. Quarter, I put a quarter cup of brown sugar in there. Put that shit up in there. All right, now. 16. There's no way he's going to add more flavor to this. Bro. Don't you dare add more flavor to this, Zach. We're adding two more cups of vinegar. To top 17. It well, no, we already put vinegar in it, so. Was well, this a different kind of vinegar? No. Oh. I didn't count vinegar and before, so we're going to count it. Did we put vinegar in before? I don't remember. <laughs> and we haven't put any pepper, some whole peppercorns. Whole Eight. peppercorns. 18? You should, go back, you should go back and replay and see if he did put vinegar in before. He did. he did. He's been he, known. Oh, no, no, I, he I did. Totally he did. Because okay. right. I remember whole I was pepper. like, that's two cups. That looks like fucking... Oh, okay. I didn't count vinegar, so we're we're good. We're, we're still good. Jeez. Whole peppercorns, bro. Boom, bro. Now we're gonna we're gonna blend it one more time. Careful with them cloves. <laughs> yeah, fucking clove. Is strong. <laughs> clove is strong as shit, bro. <laughs> You're talking about that garlic strong, now the cloves. It's gonna. It's going to taste like you're fucking smoking a clove cigarette. Oh. <laughs> you're like, God damn, this sauce is good. <laughs> Dude, whenever you're working in a kitchen and you have like a, a toothache, one of the oldest tricks in the book is you take some clove and you fucking smash that shit up, put it in a little fucking paper towel and you compact that shit next to the tooth. You're good for your shift, bro. You can make it through. <laughs> for your shits. Your shifts. Oh, I was gonna say Spicy, I got the shit. Uh, creamy shits. Like a line cook shift. Creamy shits. What is this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Look at him blending that. And the pot slide. Down. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> <laughs> gonna fall off, fall off all over his ass. What's he going <laughs> up? Uh, up okay. At least it'll make good. Like he's. What should happen is we you should start doing a Friday night fire like a reel that like encompasses a bunch of shit. Oh, and then a tight concentric circle to the middle, and then he's doing some weird uh vibrating oh, technique. There you go. It's gonna fall, it's gonna go, and he's gonna be rushed to the hospital with peeling what is skin. Vibrating technique that he's using there. I don't know. It's gonna smell like clove in that kitchen forever. Mine don't do that. Like <laughs> see, look at it. It's because it's in the every time a clove goes into the emotion. Right, right. Like, it's like it's about <laughs> it's like throwing a rock into a fan. Yep, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> it's like the small little gunshots in the worst of shirt. Let's have them taste it now, right? Right, chug like a whole glass. This is an experiment. He's like, oh, yeah, there's fish in here. I better blend the shit out of this. <laughs> make, yeah, make sure you cut up all the tiny bones and hairs. <laughs> <coughs> all right. So now I'm going to let this cook on a nice low to medium heat for about maybe like 20 to 30 minutes. So the flavors can, I mean, I can go all the way up to like two hours if I want. Mm -hmm. And let the flavors bend, but uh, I'm gonna let the flavors bend together for about 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna run it through a strainer with cheesecloth in the strainer to get rid of any of them chunks of cloves or peppercorns or seeds and all that. Because you know when you have Worcestershire, it's kind of just a liquidy, uh, delicious hot mess. So, like I said, we're going to let that sit for about 20 minutes. And I think right at the end of the episode, we could probably strain it out and show everyone the finished product. Uh, they probably, I mean, we can, we can even stay later and bottle it up if you want. Get those bones out. Yes, sir. Hey, this <laughs> work. You're just hoping it's going to taste good so you don't have to chug it all. Oh, dude, that sucks. Our audience crafting just fucked me. Like oil all over me. <laughs> yeah, and Jason's like, fuck. I'm gonna have to chug all that fucking. <laughs> oh my god. And look, I fucked up. Uh, I fucked up. I forgot these awesome raisins that I'm about to put in and blend up again. 
Oh yeah, hey, there's another nineteen. No, we already have raises on her. <laughs> oh, bottle of salt. <laughs> oh, bottle of salt. Next, next, <laughs> next ingredient is uh, Zach's going to yell into the sauce, English, and uh, it's going to help. Uh, <laughs> oh shit, my raisins! <laughs> Hell yeah! Put on a t-shirt. Hey, I hope this tastes good. Like Worcestershire sauce. Sh 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 I gave him a fuck ton of black garlic. That stuff tastes like Worcestershire on its own, bro. Nice. Yeah. Say no. garlic again. Oh wait, you were saying Worcestershire. Say garlic. Hey guys, I still have a couple mm -hmm. bottles of this sauce left. If you guys want uh, to buy. Need to get one of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got like I don't know, maybe a dozen bottles left. But yeah, teriyaki, double garlic, triple garlic teriyaki. Don't force people to buy your sauce, man. I'm not forcing. <laughs> them to buy <laughs> Offering a promotion up if they want to buy my sauce, I am promoting it for sale. I'm trying to buy, I'm trying to get money so I can move and be comfortable in my new house, bud. Yeah, I, I don't even have a fucking bed yet, bro. Blow up mattress. Hell yeah, look at that. I hope you late for work. I got you. You guys, if you guys don't know, that's Jason Pettibone, late for work. He's a great guy. Go hit him up. Yeah. I just can't believe it. He's never got a baby in a wedding. Never on time. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's, he's, fucking, he's just hitting it tonight. He is. He's on <laughs> everything. He's just like, damn. Hey, Jim, I, I don't know up, if you man? can see me like smiling and shit. I'm over here reading his fucking comments, just laughing, you know. <coughs> yeah, Pepper Bay, you can't see the comments. No, I don't know if I like got my screen set up weird or what, but I always have to go into the separate section and look at the comments, so I can't really see the screen if I see that. Well, you know, you know the dr the drill. He's got it all wrong. Oh, he does. Pepper Bay's got it all wrong. We ain't about Shout to go to Pepper just to flex on him. We ain't gotta be like y'all. We ain't gonna play Pepper D on YouTube. <laughs> I'm trying not to smile. <laughs> Where's Zach? He's uh he's right What's there, Ron. Yes. You're muted, Zach. Did you taste? Give it a little, give us a little fucking, uh, give us some, uh. Well, he knows he had to take a chaser of beer. No, it's, <laughs> it's uh, it's, hey, first of all, it's got the perfect heat, I think, to a sauce. Oh, it's not overwhelming or? No, not too much. Not yet. Too much. <laughs> um, it's got a great Hell taste yeah. to it. All those flavors came together perfectly in there. <laughs> yeah. Goot's like, I need to fucking rehydrate from one spoonful. <laughs> <laughs> that was hot, dude. It's hey, it, hot. It, it does have a. Um, it's obviously it's a vinegar based sauce, so it's got a vinegar taste to it. But that's what Worcestershire is is mostly vinegar. Mm. It's a vinegar based mm. sauce. You're gonna get a vinegar taste to it. But all those other flavors in there make it delicious. I'm not a vinegar expert, so I don't know for sure. Yeah, delicious. I bet if you go and replay delicious. it, we could find a flaw or two in the video. Wow, they added Angry Joe's on DoorDash. You go ahead and fact check us if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Phew. It's a little hot, not going to lie. Independent fact checkers found out that the cloves were overwhelming. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> you sound like fucking you sound like Mark Griswold 
little little fool. <laughs> a lot of sap. A lot of sap. Oh, a little hot. A little hot. A lot of salt. Oh, God. I think it's delicious. You're just saying it's delicious because you made it. Yeah, no, he's like trying really to get do. some salt. Yeah. No, I really do it's think good. it's very good. It's real good. <laughs> $25 for a bottle of shit. <laughs> oh, come on, man. It's not shit. It's actually really good. I bet you it's delicious. I'm just it's really good, man. It, it was well researched. I, I hope and pray that I can get a bottle. So yeah, I, I, and there I, you I, have it. That's how you make Goodstershire sauce. I mean, it's not like he's just fucking. I wonder. I think Good or Worcestershire has this in it, so I'm gonna fucking. Uh, Fuck it, I'm gonna throw it in. I'm gonna throw it in. I had to. Uh, so you haven't seen my face. Four <laughs> damn face sounds because... good, I guess. <laughs> I, I uh, hey, what's up, Lone Star Lounge? <laughs> but yeah, I, I spilled anchovy. Or, yeah, I spilled anchovy um, oil oh, well. all over my pants. Can we see? I, I had to go change my <laughs> pants. Can you show us? Anchovy oil. <laughs> oil. So, uh, <laughs> Anchovy oil. Uh, oh, nobody wants that. So look, I just want to make this really clear: the people that do purchase this sauce when it does come out, <laughs> this is a keep refrigerated sauce. It has fish in it. Right a bit. It needs to once. I'll seal it Fishy once it's bats. sealed. It's good. <laughs> once it's sealed, it's good for like maybe six months to a year. I, I mean, look, this. I'm not a professional sauce maker, but once you open it, you need to keep it refrigerated. I mean, be careful out there, guys. Once you yeah, pop, I don't, you I don't can't. Want, I don't want to get anyone sick. <laughs> hey, so, uh, guys, do you think do you think that club is going to... I bet you'd be able to taste it. I'm not an independent fact checker. I, I really great. can't. <laughs> All right. Well, you were here, right? You were here when we made it, right? So you remember what he all put in it, right? 18 flavors, bro. It's unprecedented. 19. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it's crazy. In this sauce. Did you put water in it? Is that a flavor? <laughs> I did not put I did not put any water in this sauce. Fuck. Hmm, that's weird. Why is that weird? Yeah, why know. is that weird? Just seems like you put water in. Midge is like in my secret family recipe for Worcestershire. We use <laughs> this much water. Yeah, my recipe is Perryman's or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> Perrier, a little bit. Of... The, 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 you know the one in the little, the little fucking paper bag on it. Paper <laughs> bag water. Uh, yeah, paper bag water. What's up, Chris? Go to the house. What's up, dude? We just got done making some Goochtershire sauce. I'm letting it kind of mend in a minute. I'm gonna go wash my hands again. We're gonna we're gonna filter it out into a container, and then uh, we can either bottle it up, figure out what we're when we're doing that. Hey, does anybody want to do anything? Does anybody want to do anything else while they're here on Friday Night Fire? Uh, yeah, let's chug. Yeah, let's hey. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, oh, wait. Brandon has a killer queen, does he? He also has a Scoville Slammer. I didn't get one. I was going to do a slammer, but I <laughs> drank too many beers. It's hot. I drank too many beers. That's a hot one. Look at that place. Hootie's bait and tackle. Oh, you still looking? Yeah, Ryan. I don't want to outshine me. Goose sauce. You know? Would shine it, bro. You know what? Shine bright like a diamond. Yeah, man. <laughs> Somebody watched the great halftime show. Money Rihanna made off the Super Bowl. None. Uh, what, okay, first of all, she, her sales have nine hundred percent doubled for her makeup line. 
she didn't she didn't make any money. Nine hundred percent. You spent. Yeah, dollars. it's okay. That they, none of them get paid. That's what she got. Yeah, she making money, bro. Uh, she's, she's on the I'm smoking movie. a cigarette. She's on the cover of Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, I expect you to like mild sauce, bud. It's hey Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. Somebody somebody called my Mojave Green spicy, like it was too spicy. Hey, did that sauce I gave you in Texas, Ryan? Did you eat it all, dude? That barbecue sauce, <laughs> you eat it, or was it too spicy? Uh, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> <laughs> that was solid. I can totally picture it too, Chris. It's just like a fucking nut sack just peeking up. And... <laughs> Holy shit. Pepper <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Pepper Bay does have sauce. Pepper Baby. <laughs> Pepper Baby burns. Brandon, are you going to do a challenge tonight or no? Pepper Baby Bay. He always does that. Every. Like and not every week because he did. Because I get to drinking, bro. Now I got heartburn like a motherfucker from these. I got. Movies. I told, dude. I totally get it, man. I'm not hating on you, but you you do be doing that. I do be doing that. Do we do we do? You do be do be doing that. Do we do we do it? Do we do we? Is do we? Oh, he's sleeping. What are you doing, mm -hmm. baby boy? The big New Yorker. <laughs> yeah. Why do I feel like it's so much? Yeah, we're just drinking. We're just drinking and chilling at this point, waiting for me to filter the sauce out. I do have some uh, special announcement. What's your special announcement? So, if anyone's a member of the Honey Pot, there we go. There the we go. Pot. Yeah. Boom. I am going to go live tomorrow and combine the honey and all the powder together <laughs> into one giant homogenous mass. I it's almost like, a, dude, it's almost, it's almost as big as like watching the groundhog shadow. You, everyone, you got to tune in to see what happens. I mean, you got to see it. Extremely industrial paddle. This I've time. been to Punxsutawney, bro. I, do, I have a huge paddle this time and a better oh, look. Drill. It's Beth. It's Beth for golly. So what Beth. we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna mix it up. I don't know if anyone knows this or everyone knows this or if you do or you don't. You're gonna know now. I just we bought my first house and we get our keys and we close and everything's supposed to be final the eighth of March and then we get to move in. So my <laughs> life has been kind of a uh, hectic lately. Like there's the bucket that all the honey's going to go in right there. It's like a trash can for food. And uh, so we're going to combine all the honey, all the powder on the, and then it's going to sit there until after I move and hopefully, you know, get all freaking mixed together and it'll be good. And then after we move, I'll bottle it up and then ship it back out to everybody. So it'll be freaking awesome. So oh, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Honey, Honey pop, pop, baby. Fuck yeah, dude. There's so many entries this year. I know. I missed out again. Beth, Beth, Beth helped me out a bunch. She got... Hey, Brandon, how many... Probably, I don't know. It was like 50... Probably more than 50 people added to the honey pot. Freaking awesome. Brandon, how many uh how many entries did you have this year? I don't know. You have to tune in tomorrow. Uh, I'm right. super intrigued. Do you think there's more than last year? No. Oh. I think it's about the same. But I think the people that entered in mostly a lot of the people from last year and the first year. It's all the same people. But this year, I a lot of the people sent extra. Oh my! So yeah, there's a, like I got a lot of fucking pow this year. This this and, is the V three. But, but I got a lot of honey this year too. I got two five gallon buckets of honey. So. Cheese. Yeah, a lot. A that's lot of ten. Honey that's here. ten gallons of honey, bro. Yeah, yeah, ten, so yeah, ten gallons just of honey. In case, just in case somebody out there wanted to know, boom, love the honey pot. 
bitch. Hell yeah, I'm dude. About. Uh, Ruthie Booth is a big fan of the honey pot. She'd be putting that shit up in her tea and her coffee and stuff. And I'm like, how can you just she put that, that shit on it? Just put like that, that is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are crazy like that. They just eat it straight out of the jar and stuff. <laughs> Oh man, we are about to strain this sauce. Mr. James Jackson, I'm sorry. The honey pot is not for sale, my friend. Yeah, honey pot. And ex explain explain the process. So the that. honey pot is has never been for sale. It never will be for sale. It's it's like for the community. By, by the, the community. community. Yeah, yeah. Like feed. Fuku or whatever, like Fuku <laughs> for community by Fubu. I'll by tell you community. what I'm gonna do. Next anyway. year, I'm gonna send you a ziploc <laughs> of powder and then get like 15 bottles and sell them. Yeah, you can do that. You can totally do that. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, the only way to get the honey is to join the pot or the only other way to get the honey pot honey is there's two other ways you can win one in a contest or giveaway that we do no way. throughout the year or you can do a collaboration with me and with the collab i send you a bottle of honey pot for the collab and i send you a bottle of honey pot for you <laughs> typically the collab. So, yeah. Collab. If you wanted to do a collab, hit me up. Actually, I still have a bottle of Honey Pot from last year. I got like two, over here. two or three bottles left of last year's Honey Pot. There you go. So, so fifty bucks a piece. There's your bed. Hey, how much would a jar of uh, Year One Honey Pot go for? Oh my god, 60 bucks flat. Boom, I got two right, bottles of this. Yep. Left. One, one's mine, and one is uh, I one actually promised to Zach and Brandon Harris I was gonna split it, and I still haven't done All right, it. Flip the camera around. Thanks for the honeybee. This, no, yeah, this I is this is for Zach and, and Brandon. I I split it. Oh, you have to turn it. You have to like actually. All right, we got this. You want me to hold it while you're doing that? No, because I need your help when I strain it. No, you need my help. All right, Ryan, you have to uh, grow some peppers. Or get your hands right. on some power. Or get your hands well, on some power. One of the two. Just buy some balance and it over the hours, too. I need you to come over here. Well, for next year. Oh, bro. A late for pepper fueled tink. That'd be cool. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, guys, look. I'm gonna strain the honey this pot. Stuff, so that'd I, got, be dope. I got a strainer and I got cheesecloth in the honey uh, spicer. What's up, dude? Almost I got missed a strainer you. and I got cheesecloth. So what I'm gonna do is oh, I'm gonna strain this out with my lovely wife helping me. I'm scared. Don't drip that on me. Your wife is lovely. Yeah, she is. She's a nice lady. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, guys. I don't nah. think. It no, it will. I have to. I'm gonna have to stir it around. That's. It's very chunky. Watch out. It didn't even come out. It will. It didn't even come out. It will. <laughs> too many. Uh, too many too anchovies many in here. <laughs> too many fucks in here. It's <laughs> just a damn stem. All right, so maybe it just needs that. No there we go. Clogged. No cheese. Yeah, clogged. that stem is clogging up the whole thing. Oh, shut yeah. up. <laughs> See, hey, guys. Uh, uh, this is a, uh, what do you call it? A learning prog process. It's a, yeah, you know? it's always a learning process, bro. Nothing's ever. Put that on there for now. Th they right, say that. you haven't mastered a recipe until you've done it a thousand times. This is just the first time, so it's okay. Should have added Where some water to that motherfucker, and it would be fine. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, everybody yeah. tells Zach what he did wrong in the chat, <laughs> in the comments. You got this, Zach. You got this, Zach. It looks beautiful. Want the strainer, strainer? <laughs> I'll tell you what he's doing wrong. He's wearing Pepper Bay's sweater. I think Midge, Midge, I think Where is that sweater? 
I'll put that shit on right now. I won't, I won't even fuck. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying with these comments too. Fish can't swim without water. Fish, I'll come. I'll come on next week. <laughs> Fish is gonna die <laughs> swimming in vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So Get I'm there, left. Zach. With, I'm left with a paste, a very yeah. thick paste. Keep stirring it. You're just keep. Come on. You tell me. You tell me. Is that? What are you gonna do with that? Just dehydrate it. Yeah, I could dehydrate it. Ooh, some, added some some pow. Make some Worcester pow. Yeah, I could dehydrate it. And then add it back into the sauce. <laughs> wow, that'd be like an inception. Sauceception. Sauceception. That I, you know, I've been thinking about doing that. So don't don't steal that idea. W from wor me. Worst deception, sorry, sauce. <laughs> Just making it even more of a mouthful. <laughs> You're having a stroke, bro. Worst deception, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sauce. What? what? No, I'm gonna put this over here, but I ain't gonna play. Right, oh so yeah, left. yeah. Look, he's he's left with the. I call that the ends. That honestly, that's the flavor, y'all. I mean, those are is, the ends. But dude, put that on some croquettes or some rillette. Take a bite of that shit, Anna. Let's see. What is that, everybody? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are bones. Oh, yeah. Give me a square to put this on. That's, that's what happens when you have 18 flavors at the same time. You're just so like, oh, yeah. <laughs> You're taken aback. Those are all the bones. I like the bones, dude. That's the best part. Mm. Like bone. Brandon, what do you like to add to the honey? Hey, Ryan, I only pepper add one powder. thing to the honey, dude. Pepper powder, dude. That's pepper the only thing powder. allowed in the honey. Pepper powder and MSG. No, hey, at, Ryan, I'll add you to the honey pot, bro, the, the group, so you can see what it's about. <laughs> Oh, God. It is a little spicy in here. Zach, you, you sent me powder, right? Yeah, man. For the honey pot, right? Seth, Seth sent powder for me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Seth sent powder for like eight people, bro. No, because Seth's good, awesome. a good man. He is a good dude. He's a good guy. He didn't send any powder. I literally, I got like a kilo of pow from Seth. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I just imagine Brandon getting like a pillow shaped yeah, thing and like cutting so open. <sighs> this is pure. <laughs> kilo of powder. I feel like I have a kilo of pals. Oh, yeah. Our post office hates <laughs> us, bro. You should say that. Because all the honey pot pal goes to the P.O. box. That's funny. It's good. I don't want that shit spicing up my home mailbox. Fuck you guys. I'm trying to spice bomb. So those, so those poor government workers. That's all right. Yeah, buddy. That's, yeah. What no. <laughs> that's what their pensions for. Don't worry about it. Yeah, pepper spray and, you know, it's fun. No, it's Pepper Bay. Pepper oh. <laughs> you want to take your sweater off? Or yeah, I'm sweating. Up. Pepper J. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. It's not Pepper J. It's Pepper Bay. Thank you, baby. Pepper J. It's got or it Pepper all. Pepper Bia. If you really want to get technical. If yeah, if I'm cooking Italian food, it's a Pepper A Bia. A Pepper A Bia. A Pepper a Bia. I'm gonna have yeah, to come he, out with the He song. blended it up after the raisins were added. He did. No, oh, yeah, I did. But why, Jason? Why oh, you yeah, you did. Raisins? Did he make those? Oh. They're his raisins. If you look back in the chat, he's he he was the first one. He called them raisins. Now okay. the raisins that he used are from the south side of Italy, specifically from. No, I'm just kidding. They're probably I don't even know where he got the raisins. Where'd you get the raisins, bud? 
H-E-B, the only place to get motherfucking can you open, raisins can you hold out this up? here. Oh, yeah? Oh, shit. The only, the only ones I know are, are was that, sun, sun made, yeah. Thank you. Sun made raisins. I don't know, I couldn't tell you because raisins oh. taste like shit. <laughs> I love raisins. That's like nature's little, little candy. <laughs> Fucking nasty. <laughs> uh, Yummy. <laughs> I like raisins if they're covered in chocolate. I just put a fucking like sunflower seeds and suck on them. Mm. That looks <laughs> good. Just, hey, just get the salt on A one sauce right now, huh? That looks more like an A one. Yeah, A one has raisins. A one has uh, anchovies. Anchovies. I wonder why. Shit. Do you think they put raisins in all the sauce for the flavor or for like the fact? No, that it- they. Uh, <laughs> the real reason is they got to get rid of them somehow. So <laughs> no, no they, uh, they just start handing them out to be able to start put them in. Raisins this have a good flavor. I mean, it's a dehydrated fruit. Oh, it's a uh, yeah, exactly. It's a fruit. He rehydrated them too. Like, yeah, he did. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're pretty much fucking grapes at this point, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty. You're right. Essentially, they're grapes. So I mean, I mean, it's I so mean, what's the, what's the grape? What's it, what's the ratio? Dehydrated grapes instead. Of, uh, why are they called raisins? So yeah, raisin is a dehydrated grape. So what's a rehydrated raisin? A grape. A grape, yeah, buddy. A grape, a grazing. Boom. But dehydrated oh, like um, strawberries don't yeah, have their own know, name. Who got knowledge, bro? Got not. I didn't get knowledge. Who got knowledge? Ooh. You did. You did, bitch. Not <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. which one of us is? Oh, your dang is getting I'm crazy sorry. I'm sorry. today. Okay. I'm sorry, these beers are going to my head. What, <laughs> what's uh, what? What fruit is a prune? There, Brandon. <laughs> a prune is a dehydrated plum. All right, so I've strained the uh, sauce. It's... And uh, oh, I just we lost my it. fucking phone in it. <laughs> <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> This is what the inside of a sauce looks like. Oh, I've strained it. It's nice and liquidy now. <laughs> it probably looks like fucking SpongeBob, uh, goddamn uh, bikini bottom in that fucking pan. All the manchovies. Your SpongeBob was made out of clove. Yeah. <laughs> Plums are different than prunes, Brian. One's dehydrated and the other one isn't. Boom! Another knowledge bomb for you guys. You're just dropping bombs. Hey, Brandon, what's what's paprika? Wait, what? What is paprika? Mm, I don't. What know is that. paprika? It's a pepper that's dehydrated. And what kind of pepper? What is kind it? of pepper is it? Bell pepper. And Zach already knows where I'm going. Yeah, it's a bell pepper. That's bell the pepper. It's, it's a red bell pepper. <laughs> Is, Is it? it really? I was just fucking. Yeah. yeah. It's a red bell pepper. It's paprika. No shit. Yeah, man. I didn't know that at all. I was just. I did not guessing. know that. I thought it was like a pimento pepper. No. Um, what's and another fun one? one? Knowledge. Uh, what? It, what is cinnamon? It's bark of a tree. Boom! Nice job, bud. Um, it's so it's, yeah, it's just the, all that, all that all tree bark right. has that fucking yeah, yeah. flavor. It's a bud product of the so cinnamon. The bark of that tree bite. tastes like that. So yep. you cinnamon, dry. What kind of tree is it? Cinnamon. cinnamon. You don't know. I guess it's cinnamon take, tree. Sure. Take a knife and peel a piece off. Pop it in my mouth. Okay, if you want to, no, you got You got to let it dry out and. Sh- it does have like a Latin name or whatever, and it's not a cinnamon tree. It's not what it's called. Arboral. It's called like uh, there's hoodie when you That's fucking a eat them, dude. Arboral. 
Where's hoodie when you need it? Oh, what's uh, it in the sauce again? What's the genus? Oh, look, see, guys, this is where he switches in. Oh, wait. I feel like Hardmon is the submarine seed. Ugh. It's a su submarine seed? A uh, celery seed or something. I believe that's what Cardamon is. It's like a weird. It's, that's another David Brat. Yeah, David Brat. What's up, man? There you go, Zach. Hey, Tim. How's it going? We just made some Worcestershire sauce. We got really love a squirrel medic in the house. Just made some nice Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> yeah, I have a cinnamon oh, talk. Uh, why don't we do the cinnamon you know, challenge, guys? What is that? Bro, go get a spoonful of cinnamon and I'll tell you. No, put That's it in bad, your mouth. dude. That'll get in your lungs and cause infections and shit. Here we go. Lava squirrel medicine. It's gonna get in your <laughs> lungs and cause infections. Sixty-eight cinnamon powder into your lungs, bro, and it will kill you. No, I'm sure it won't you'll be good. good. You think you'll be good? It won't be good. So I just said, listen to me. So I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save all this leftovers and make a pow out of it. Some fish pow, nice. Fish My pow, favorite. yummy. It'll be fine. It I'm sure it's fine. it's gonna be delicious. Hey, you could you could give I'll, it to Annie. Hey, send it send it over to me. I'll fucking use the shit. You know, do you, okay. So so Worcestershire, like real Worcestershire, That's like the Worcestershire that you see on the bike, the the one company that's really well known for it. They yeah. salt anchovies and salt just to bring out that moisture for like i think it's like four or five years just like that's just the start yep that's so, the start bro it's, it's crazy and then it goes for like another six months after that or some shit brewing yeah because then you start yeah you add the liquid ingredients and it's got to sit and all that good shit so, it's like, so i don't know if it's so red i, I don't know Zach if it's 18 it. ingredients badass but no, it I mean, is. I'm pretty sure it is. Worcestershire is definitely a, a process. I That's talked to sure. Zach about it. doesn't have uh, those little rocks called cloves in it. You know why? You know how I? Uh, you know how Farmer Jay makes his soy sauce? Just infused yeah, soy boils sauce, it. right? Yeah. Right, but this is Zach is going to I'm step gonna, to make so soy sauce. To you're house. gonna ferment soybeans. Yes, sir. When I get to the new house, that's okay. the plan. I will. I'll buy a bottle. You. I, I will buy a bottle. And oh, it's yeah, spicy dude. from the ground up. I've never done that before. Yeah, I will man. watch. I oh, never man. done nothing. I never, <laughs> never, <laughs> never, <laughs> <done> nothing, <laughs> never had that in my mouth before. I never had that done. I'm trying to see what that's I'm like. I'm trying to see what that's like. She said she <laughs> gonna suck my dick from the back. <laughs> 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 I never, never, never. <laughs> Hi, right, boys. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna. I think we're gonna. We're gonna take a chug and wrap this one up for the night. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling what? You feeling? You're over it? No, I'm not over it. I got. A, I got a family here that's over it. <laughs> Fair enough. We're chilling, bud. We're having such a good time. <laughs> All right. We Damn, can't. There you go, Brandon. Ruthie Booth just fucking. Drop some knowledge on your ass. Oh, yeah. See, she Googled that shit. And she copied and pasted that motherfucker. Go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chargers. Yeah, the minimum. Hey, cheers to everybody who wanted to stop by. I'm going to go ahead and do our giveaway real quick. The first, the very first bottle of the Gootstershire. We're going to go ahead and give away to uh, someone who's been here the whole time. Late for work. Our good boy, late for work. Yeah, buddy. Late for work. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna get you. I'm gonna get you a bottle of Goostershire out to you. It's, uh, we're gonna, obviously after the stream. I'm gonna go because that's. I kind of want to end it because I gotta go bottle this and I gotta you know get the boiling water going to hot bottle this and stuff. So it is gonna add water. So and I am gonna add <laughs> and, I might, and, and I might add a little bit of water and reboil and re get and reheat this thing up a little. But other than that, that we appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate everybody sticking around. Late for work. Congratulations Ryan. on winning uh, the, the very Get out of here, dude. Retire. Where have you been? <laughs> These shows are designed to last an hour. This one has lasted an hour. 
and we love you guys. Uh, cheers, real quick. Cheers. Not quick. I'm going to chug it normal style. Uh, uh, I, uh, 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 these, these shows are designed to last an hour. Today, we went has- an hour and five minutes and 40, 51 seconds. But we love you guys. And you can next week. Next week, we're gonna be, next week, we're going to be taking on some League of Fire challenges. So don't make sure you don't miss out next week's stream. And we're kind of coming up on the season finale. I would assume we've been doing this for. <laughs> we're not counting. We're way past 24 or whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, we might be just coming saying. up to a season finale soon just so we can take a little break from our Fridays and spend time with our families. As always, everyone knows that's important. I don't like it. I'd rather. Well, we, hey, you're our about families, to you are my family. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to need some Friday nights off. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess. All right, guys. We love you here at the Texas Hotspot. And as always, we will catch you on the, on the flip, flip side. side.